The Dragon's Den is back and open for business. The 15th series began on Sunday with two new multi-millionaire investors sitting in those famous chairs. Tej Lalvini, chief executive of Vita Biotics and former banker and entrepreneur Jenny Campbell have joined the Dragons. We're going to meet them in a moment, but they've already shown, as you're soon about to see, that they're not afraid to get stuck in. This was part of Sunday's episode. If it's acceptable to Tuka, Jenny and Tej, 6% each for 18% of pouch. Hmm. I would do the 6% if my other two fellow dragons would agree the same, of course. So I, I welcome the increased offer. Brilliant. Tej? Let's do it. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you. A thrilling finish as the duo leave with the £75,000 investment in their pouch and the den's longest serving dragons are left to lick their wounds. Thank you um, for your I wouldn't have well. done it at 6%, so you're fine. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> I think that was, a, that was quite a wise move. Yeah. I'm not disappointed much. Jenny and Tasia here this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Morning. morning, guys. What's the reaction been to you both since the episode is aired? Because this Dragon's Den is one of those programmes that people are quite passionate about. And the, the dragons themselves, they like to know their personality. So when you're new, how do you think you've been received so far? Well, it's been really interesting. I mean, uh, you know, especially with the last uh, episode one, which aired, um, we had battled with the other dragons and we, and we won that. So it was, uh, it was quite a good response from, from the public on that. Were they friendly, Jenny, when you, when you went into the den, the, the other, other dragons? The other dragons have been great, haven't they? Really, yeah. fr really friendly, made us uh, feel really welcome. Offset, we've had quite a lot of fun. On set, we've had a few battles. Yeah. <laughs> and now, neither of you got where you are now without having a certain amount of confidence, mm -hmm. clearly. Mm -hmm. But when, when you, when you, maybe the, I don't know what, how the conversation first comes about when maybe someone says, would you be interested in going on Dragon's Den? Uh -huh. What's the thought process? Are you thinking, do you know, I've got to have a persona? I've got to, you know, what, what, what's the thought process? Well, I, I've watched Dragon's Den all my life, um, so and I probably always thought in the back of my mind I'd love to do that. Do you sit I when you've been that. watching it before? Do you sit there going, "I'd go with him"? Yeah, I'd absolutely. Go, I go yeah, absolutely. And going to that. work next day and say, "Did you see that? Oh my God, he's forgot his numbers and so on." And then on set, you know, now I'm here. I just determined that I would just be me. I can't be anything else but me. So what you see is what you get. And I'm the only northerner in the den, of course. Uh-huh. <laughs> of course. And for you as well? What, yeah, I mean, uh, for me, uh, you know, I've been a fan of the show as well. Uh, and I've always been interested in investing in other businesses and, uh, you know, growing the business and wanting to, to learn and, and impart that knowledge to some of the, of the entrepreneurs to help grow their businesses. That was exciting for me. Um, you've invested quite a lot, I yeah. understand, yeah. just from the research. Prolific. Now. Prolific. Yeah. Do you, is there a worry... I mean, what is your strategy? Is it a scattergun <laughs> approach? I mean, or, or well, well there yeah. is, you could, you could be one of the dens that they go, oh, he'll always buy in. Yeah. Well, I mean, for me, initially coming in, I thought, because I'm passionate about health and nutrition, that's the area I'm going to invest in. But, you know, um, just recently there was the uh, entrepreneur who came in. Um, um, I, I saw the product and I thought, God, this is so boring. I'm not going to invest in it at all. And then she started talking and, and you know, talked about her product and, and the way she carried herself. I thought, this is brilliant. You know, it's a great opportunity, it's an advantage, and it just sort of turns around almost. Do you sometimes know, Jenny, the, almost the moment someone walks in front of you, that you, do you get a feeling? You know they say yeah, about yeah. that thing, you, work, you decide about people within whatever it is, six seconds in an interview or whatever. Do you have that same thing where you get a sense straight away? You, yeah, of course. We all, you say you shouldn't do, but we all judge a book by its cover. So they walk through the doors. If there's a little dog on the end of the lead, I mean, sort of thing. But only for about 10 seconds until I hear the pitch. And then, then you begin to settle into analysing the person and the product and so on. And we are talking this morning, you're probably aware, GCSE mm -hmm. day today. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if either of you have got kids or if you're at the stage yep. yet, but it's a nerve-wracking time. Mm -hmm. Just take us back a little bit. Um, I'm not going to ask about ages. I've got in trouble about that. Yes. Sean this morning wouldn't tell us. No, I'm not going to. I'm not even going to mention it. But uh, tell yeah, us the story. I so mean, you're 16 years old, and what happens then? Do you get good well, results? What happens? Actually, um, I did O levels back in the day. Me so too. Um, and I, I was in India when I did my exams, and I came to the UK, 
And I remember, because the results had to be sent to India first, and then so I got them a day late. So all my friends got the results, and, and they were doing really well. And, and someone who was really smart did really badly, and I thought, oh, my God, what am I going to do? And finally got the results, and they were okay. So it was uh, quite Just a good okay? time. Yeah, I mean, I did okay. A couple of A's and B's. You That's did really good. well, didn't you? Yeah, I had a good set of but GCSEs. But I knew I was leaving school before I got them. Um, I decided in the Easter before the results that I was just going to go to work. And that was unusual because I was in a good school and my father expected me to do A-levels and go to university. But I decided I was going to work. I Why? wanted to Because I wanted to uh, uh, learn while I earned at the end of the day. And then I carried on doing my professional qualifications at night school. So I wanted to do both. I just wanted to get out there. And just, I know, I mean, we're talking about Dragon's Den, but lots of... Um... GCSE students are watching this morning and are petrified, terrified mm. about the results coming through. As employers, what would you say? I mean, you obviously look at results, mm. but that's not everything, is it? Just no. want to offer some reassurance no. to these 16-year-olds who are... It's done, isn't it? It will be what it will be today. So they need to get the set of results, look at their options, and if they want to go and get a job, then when I'm hiring people, I always recruit for attitude and train for skill. So they come in front of me, and if they've got, they've got the right attitude, the right spark... Um, I can train them in what they need to be. I think that's important. I mean, we look at a lot of CVs and, um, you know, at the end of the day, um, grades um, account for some, but it's the experience and what they've done so far in their life and achieved and, you know, how they've done it and what sort of uh, skills or in inspiration they've had. So that's important. Yeah, and just on the investment thing within Dragon's Den itself, before you... I mean, you're now doing it on television. Mm. That, clearly that's something you've done all the time anyway. Oh, you, you, that's, that's what you do, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I invest in people, I invest in businesses. The fact that it's being filmed uh, doesn't really uh, bother me. I just do what I always did, which is invest in, in businesses and, and people. Yeah, uh, making... And it's a chance to give of yourself back to business and entrepreneurship and help people to be even better Have than they thought they could be. Have any of your colleagues criticised your um, decisions? Any of what, the your, dragons? No, or, no, your colleagues. Oh, yeah. Well, no, we've only seen one episode so far, and the ending of episode one was pretty epic, wasn't it? And yeah, it was All great, my great friends and family and colleagues are saying, well done, we like that one, mm. you know, it's a voucher code, we can save money, why wouldn't you like that? And yeah. a great set of entrepreneurs. I mean, it is intense. You're going through about 102 pitches uh, mm. and entrepreneurs in, in the time of the filming, uh, which, which is great to, to be able to come across so many entrepreneurs and opportunities. And, you know, each, each day is so different. You don't know what's, what's coming in the den the next day. There was the most number of investments this series than any other. Is that Any yes. other series. Yeah. So it's an exciting uh, series. And, and the most number of investments were made, firstly, by this man and, secondly, by this lady. But it could mean that you're more generous or you're just getting better ideas coming forward. Oh, we're could just, be one yeah, of the other. A lot of great entrepreneurs just, in Britain. Just sharp. <laughs> Lovely to see you. All right. Thank Thank you. You. Thanks so much, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Dragon's Den is on BBC Two on Sunday night at 8 o'clock.